Hi, today's going to be a really fun day. Um, I've written about it a couple of times, and I hope this is kind of a fun take on the beginning of basically a series about getting a service dog. Now, in our, in our country, there's a lot of misconceptions about getting a dog. When somebody sees a dog that's really helping someone, immediately they just want to go get a dog. Well, there's a lot that goes into a dog. So we're going to take Julia. Hey! Thank you. Enough! <laughs> yeah. Now, a good chunk of these dogs are rescue. Now, rescue, in my definition, is not just a dog that's been abandoned and thump, 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 your heart goes pity pat. Rescue actually is an employee that's lost a job. So although some of these dogs have never been like on the streets or in dire straits, all of these dogs have lost homes as young adults or, you know, whatever. The word rescue often just tugs at your heartstrings. And because it's a rescue dog, somehow we're to forgive a lot of things. So Julia is going to get her acting shoes on today, and we're going to kind of take Julia through the supermarket of rescue dogs. Won't that be fun? Awesome. Awesome. Why are you here, Julia? I am in desperate need of a dog to help me feel better, to help me out at home. Okay. Now, what kind of, you, you know... What does help you out at home mean? Um, a dog that will pick up something that I drop, okay. maybe it's under the couch okay. or the bed. Okay. Um, a dog I can cuddle and love. Okay. Something that can help and me get up off the couch. And that you know when somebody's Absolutely. And, and if you are sleeping, you want a dog to kind of let you know and wake you up oh, and yes. blah, blah, blah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Now, we have all sorts of personalities. So when you go into a rescue or a human society, you've got cages or a house full of dogs. All right, take a look here. We got a supermarket. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> okay. Now, they're all cute, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Well, so that if the only criteria is that they're cute, they have pretty eyes, okay? Just pick one. Well, I don't want a nervous one. Well, they're not nervous. Look at that. Well, that one right there looks kind oh, of Oh, that one. You don't. Well, he's okay. Just because at one time he ripped a woman's hand. Now, why don't you keep it on Skippy, not me? He ripped a woman's hand open, and he, you know, he's afraid of fast movement. He's very reactive. But he's sweet and he's so cute, Julia. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I okay. think I want a calm dog. Oh, well, we have a calm dog right here. He's a nice dog. He's, he's nice a beautiful calm. dog. Yes. Okay, I think this is the one, don't you? Well, I don't know. Can he help me get up? Is he oh. a good watch dog? Well, well, no. I mean, he's a border collie. He likes to chase cats. No, that would He would chase good. cars. He would play ball with you. All I like day long. He chases kids. He loves Not to play. No, no. Oh. I need a calm one. Oh. I need one that doesn't jump on kids. And we all know Fargo actually is a calm dog. But yeah. <laughs> classic border collie is not calm. Oh, let's go over and see this one. Now, this is a really cute dog. Look at how pretty she is. Her owners, before they turned her in, they had her groomed. Look at how pretty She's she is. She's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? She, she fit on my lap She really well. would. She likes to bark a lot. That, like would, her. that would wake you up every no, time no. there was noise. But look at how good that is. No. Speak. No. Speak. She speaks. She knows tricks. She can sit up. 
my she linen shake hands? <laughs> one they paid a lot of money for her they paid a lot of money and they loved her and they let her play with other dogs and she loves to play with other dogs it's kind of hard sometimes to hold her back because she really likes to play and I don't have any balance but we trained her with food so if you hold food if you hold food, Pat, I can't keep food with me all the time. I have an electric wheelchair usually. one of those beds, you know, and just, you can, and, and you can have three or four different kinds so that if she gets tired of one, you just use a different no, one. No, that's more than I want to deal with. That's more than I want to deal with. She's a rescue dog. She's got beautiful eyes. Oh, this is a washout, isn't it? <laughs> Quit looking at it. Now, this is a nice dog. Yes. She would scare people away if they came to the well, door. That's you know, good. She's really good with people, but, you know, she fights with other dogs. you, you got to be careful about that. Oh, no, You're if fine. I was taking a walk, I would be in terrible trouble well, if another dog came along. Well, you just set the brakes on your chair, no, and no. you could tie her there, you know. They can, she she's strong enough. She can pull my chair over. You think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, What's really funny is, this is probably the most gentle dog here. She was raised with a bunny. But classically, if you went out looking for a dog, those are the symptoms of... <laughs> We're talking bad about you. Oh, there's a beautiful dog. Look at here. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, she's lovely. She's now, beautiful. now, this was a show dog. But, Pat, how would she help me up off the couch? Oh, but look at how beautiful she is. She's gorgeous. Look at, look, I mean, this dog, if you walk down the street with her, this dog would be so fancy and pretty. She is beautiful. You're going to have to housebreak her, though, because she kind of was raised you know, as a show dog, so she goes in and she likes to challenge other dogs, but as long as they know that she's on top, she won't give you any problem at all. Yeah, but I couldn't take her anywhere because she'd be challenging all my friends' dogs. That's not good. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, but no. You don't, have, you don't have any cats, do you? No, but my neighbors do. Oh, but you can keep her on a lead. It, it really would be fine. She's a beautiful dog. Um, she can't help me walk, Pat. Oh, I can walk. She's a rescue dog. Well, that's not the only requirement for a service dog. <laughs> rescue dog. She just got a five-point major. <laughs> okay, not not classic rescue. I mean, it's kind of hard to find bad examples. <laughs> Here, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a sad statement, isn't it? Okay. Oh, look at this one. He can help you out. Yeah, he could. Now, he just came in. He was just given up. Okay. He was the pick of the litter. He's a beautiful dog. I love him. They love him. I mean, they said that this is the best dog. He's a little noisy. Well, no, he's guarding. He likes to guard. And he barks when he guards. He doesn't like other dogs. He'll keep you safe from other dogs. No, I don't think so. He was, now, you know, if you take him to the dog park, he was the toughest dog at the dog park. You won't have to worry. He can, he can beat those other dogs. But I'm not worried about other dogs. I'm worried about people breaking into my house. Oh, he would he would protect you. Would he? Oh, he, but how would I know somebody was coming if all he does is bark all the time? I didn't know. Well, you know, you you would just you know tie him up or put him away, put him in the other room. I can't do that. I need a service uh, dog. I need a working partner. To but that. but. He really likes treats. <laughs> you got to be careful though. Feed him like you know with your hand because he really kind of grabs them. Yeah, he's really you know you you, you got to you know just get him on a, some kind of collar and hold him back. And he's really a good dog. 
I'm disabled. I don't want to have to fight with my dog. But he's so beautiful. Well, beauty isn't everything. He was the pick of the litter. That doesn't mean a thing. Oh. Doesn't mean a thing when it comes to a working dog. Okay, so you need a dog that works. Yes, I do. This one works. This one came from a farm. Hi, sweetie. And this dog loves to work all day long. But I don't want to work all day long. She'll herd cattle. She'll herd sheep. I don't have she cattle or sheep. I need a dog that'll sit and be quiet while I crochet. Well, she's or quiet. Or watch TV. Or have she's not barking. She's very happy. She's very sweet, but she's not big enough for me to be a mobility dog. But she likes to work. Well, that doesn't matter if she can't do what she needs to do. But she's a rescue do. dog. She's such a sweet dog. She needs to be a working dog, But too. she needs a bath, and then, you know, she's really a nice dog. Yeah, she does need a bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because she's busy. <laughs> this is the classic border collie. Yeah, they're too big Came from a farm. This dog, I mean, she doesn't... She's very... Doesn't like anybody else moving. Now... This poor little soul over here, he's a really nice dog. He can help you out. You know, he sure could. He's done really well, but his mother went into rescue. He can pull my wheelchair. His, mother, his mother's in rescue. Um, she's in rehab right now. You know, poor woman, she just has separation anxiety. <laughs> no, we all know Otis. <laughs> Perfect, I think. Pat, what's wrong with him? He's well, a big. We're trying to fix that in his mother. We're trying to fix that in his owner. Uh, because, you know, she struggles. <laughs> the dog is fun. <laughs> look at that look. He's handsome. He's big. Now, nobody's going to pick you if you're noisy. Shh. You'll fool her. If I lost a hundred pounds, I could ride him around the house. Well, <laughs> well here's a cute little dog. Now, this dog was from a really good kennel. Okay, she's just a little afraid of other dogs sometimes. And she really doesn't like people to crowd, you know, so you'd be safe. That's not she a good keep... service dog, Pat. I'm going to be out in the crowd. Oh. I'll be at restaurants and hospitals. No, they let you know when somebody comes. There'd be too many people to let me know all the time. I need a dog that's selective in the way it barks. I need a dog that's big enough for me. It has to have certain requirements okay. to be a good service dog. One more. Oh. We've been through this whole shopping mall of dogs. And you gripe about every one of them. What the heck's the matter with you? Well, there was one I liked. Oh, that thing. <laughs> this is a nice dog. She's very sweet. Yes. She loves to be petted all the time. She would just stay next to you. You know, Pat, sometimes I hurt and I don't want to have to pet a dog. But she really likes to be petted. But I don't like to be touched sometimes. Sometimes my whole body aches and hurts. That's the problem man, with being... Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Can't please the woman. But they sure are cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah. There is one fix. One fix for all the problems Julia talks about. Taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> because seriously, unless each one of these dogs is trained to be useful, I don't care that they're from rescue. Rescue is an employee that's lost a job. Now, we don't hire somebody just because they're cute. We don't give them a pass just because they're attractive. That's right. They have to fit the job description. There's not a dog in here. Hey! Enough. There are dogs that have lost their homes because of divorce, because of being, people being stupid. 
because of dog was inconvenienced, didn't grow up the way the way the breeder thought it would. Um, as this one, a good friend of mine shared that dog with me. Really quality dog. My dog. Hey. This dog was with a family for four years. Uh, let's see, the kids are allergic. They don't have time. The dog got bigger than they thought. Um, they took it to classes, but he's really grabby about food. <laughs> he loves the dog park. He was fighting with other dogs. Now all of a sudden, the dog park isn't such a good idea. This dog is so dog aggressive, he marks everything. What a waste. Mary is the reflection of a naive young woman who went away and left a friend of hers take care of her, left her tied out, she got tangled up, didn't have any food or water. No, she's fine. She didn't know. It was just an inexperienced young woman. But Mary was raised correctly. You know what? A little healthy neglect never hurts any of them. They appreciate a good home. Hey! This dog had nothing but the best. Freedom, fun, no control, no real education. This dog is the reflection of bribery and prevention. Not good conditioning. Not good conditioning. Dog at all. This dog is the reflection of... How many kids did they have? Six. Six kids. On a farm. Zoom, 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 zoom. Not socialized. That's a working dog. Julia's right. That one will never make a service dog. This one will. What's funny about this dog, because he's never had a real good education, he's easy. This one needed proper socialization. Kate needed proper socialization. Star. Star's a blank slate. Star's had proper socialization. She does a little work on potty training. She's a wonderful dog. Skippy's been abused. He will never trust anybody enough. He needs somebody who's his service person. Fargo is a working service dog. He was raised properly in comparison to one who's raised like the classic border collie. Fun, 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 play, 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 tug, 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 run, run, run. Quiet. Whatever your name is. Now, I say that because they had given him some biblical name and they made a big deal about, you know, they named their dogs after people in the Bible. So then you dump him? Okay, we can name him anything we want. <laughs> he won't have a biblical name. Uh, he's going to change the name because all of that that's associated with that name is negative. You can bet, whatever his name was, you can bet they used his name in vain. Fido! 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 Whatever the heck it was. I, I, could, I can't even remember it. Okay, so when you use the name as punishment, why would he value his name? Best thing you can do with a rescue dog, change his name, start over. Hula. Oh, that is such a lucky dog. They've had Hula just a few months. They have tried so hard to teach this dog a better way to be. That is how rescue dogs are successful. McNally, you're fine. Good girl. Fargo is how rescue dogs are successful. Even Skippy. Skippy is never going to be whole. Oh, that sounds like PTSD, doesn't it? He's never going to be totally whole. But he can be as good as he can. Good We're not going to let him slide back down that hill. So when we're dealing with rescue dogs as service dogs, hey, enough. 
when we're dealing with service dogs as rescue dogs, when we're making that choice, there are dogs who are willing to put the effort forth to serve somebody else. And then there are those who never will be able to do that. Tila really, she would be your companion. But I would have to stake my life on this dog. Fargo, I would. Fargo would forego his desires, what makes sense to him, and he would do what makes sense to me if I told him. That's a service dog. Mary would choose to do as she's told rather than what makes sense to her. Kate will choose what makes sense to what makes sense to me, where my priorities are. So the difference truly when you're starting to choose dogs. You have to have a dog that doesn't take more effort than you're able to give. Now, that big male Airedale, he's one awesome dog. He's just uneducated. He's just been allowed to be a brat. A guy like that knows what it's like to be the winner. If we don't beat him down, now beating him down doesn't mean physical. I mean mentally. Quiet. Nobody likes you. If we take our time and we do it right, he just got here the day before yesterday. We're giving him a time without pressure, and then we'll start his education. There will be no dog better for a veteran than that dog, just like Mary. That dog does not allow you to sit down here and hope things get better. That dog says, if you want me to step up, you better be there with me. Now, if you had to choose one, Julia, uh -huh. is there one in here that you might choose? Yeah, I would choose that one. The shepherd. She's oh, been that one. Okay. She's the right size. Now, she wasn't the right dog when she came. Oh, no. She was crazy. But by conditioning her and you not trying to do the training yourself. Right. And conditioning me because right. I had a lot to learn. Because you weren't leader enough for her. You are getting there. At the same time, she's learning. And the world's getting prettier by the day, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is our first installment on getting a service dog. There's other ways. This just is one. So, we're going to move on with class.